My name is Dr. Dobbins, and I wanted to spend a little bit of time with you today uh, just talking about the word anxiety. It's a big word that we hear a lot about, and so we're going to talk a little bit about that um, as it relates to how we're dealing with this pandemic of the coronavirus here in Ohio. So when you hear the word anxiety, is that a word you've heard before? And if you heard that before, who was using the word anxiety and how was that used? If you had to come up with a definition for anxiety to tell somebody else, what do you think you would tell them? Okay, well, we're gonna look a little bit closer at that and we're gonna also learn what we can do about it. Anxiety is a four syllable word, anxiety. And all it deals with is how we feel when we are a little bit uh, uncomfortable or we feel unsafe for a thin amount of time. And so that's what that word means. If I had to ask you to make a face about feeling anxious, what would your face look like? Here's my anxious face. Here's what I look like when I get anxious or I feel anxiety, a little bit worried, not sure what's happening. And so the one thing uh, about anxiety is we want to remember that when a situation makes you feel more unsafe or uncomfortable than usual, or when a situation makes you feel unsafe or uncomfortable for a longer period of time than you're used to, that's when anxiety can really kick in. So now we got to figure out, you know, more about anxiety and how that impacts us as human beings. Well, anxiety can impact us through different ways. Sometimes events happen. Sometimes we're exposed to things, we see things or hear things, and sometimes new experiences can cause anxiety. And so our case was Olivia. There was an event in her life in which her back tire was flat. And so she was exposed to the fear that comes with not being able to get to work, or what if her car doesn't work right, or what if her light doesn't go off. So this was a very new experience for her. She wasn't sure how to navigate it. And so that really did cause her some anxiety. So while we're dealing with the feeling of anxiety, there are some things that I want you to understand. The first thing is that everyone experiences anxiety. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how famous you are, how much money you have. It doesn't matter if you're the president of the United States, if you're a homeless person, everyone experiences anxiety in this lifetime. And so if you're feeling a little uneasy, I want you to know that it's natural to feel that way at times like that. It's a normal part of being a human being. And anxiety in itself is a neutral emotion, which means you're not a bad person for feeling anxiety. You're not a bad person for not feeling anxiety. You're not a good person for feeling anxiety. You're not good because you don't. It's just how you feel. It just is what it is. But if you do feel anxious about things at this time, you don't have to feel bad about it. You don't have to condemn yourself. You're natural and you're normal. It is a neutral feeling. So then, whether you're feeling anxious or whether you're feeling happy or anywhere in between, you are okay. But what can we do if I'm feeling anxious and I want to do something about it? Well, one thing you can do is use your voice. Use your voice in several ways when you're feeling anxious to deal with your anxiety. And another thing that you can do is you can use your hands. And there are several things you can do with your hands that can help you deal with your anxiety. And we're gonna look at Olivia's situation and have her explain to us what that means. And when we use these skills, we build resilience in our cell. Let's look at Olivia and let's look at Chris. She used her voice to get help because she wasn't sure what to do. She used her voice to get help, get direction, and then she used her voice to make the arrangements to get the tire back on. She also used her voice to get help from Christopher to physically put the tire back on. Then Christopher heard her voice and he used his hands to help put that tire back on to help ease her anxiety. So some things that you can do at home, you can talk with somebody that you trust as an adult, Talk to them on the phone or on the computer with your parents' permission only and always. 
You can use your hands around the house. You can do chores to make things better. You can draw pictures or draw or write stories as well. So these are some things that you can do to use your hands and use your voice to deal with your own anxiety. So you know what? It's okay to feel anxious at this time. It's okay to be happy at this time. If you need to contact me for any reason, now this will be by parent permission only. Uh, here's my email address for my NCPA Warriors. My Twitter account is at Amon E. Dobbins, Dobbs the Educator. And you can search for me on Facebook under Amon Ra Dobbins. And I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, stay safe out there. Keep your social distance. And remember, if nobody told you today, Dobbins loves the kids, but not like that. So uh, have a great day, and I will talk to you soon.